Hello everyone, welcome back to Mango and Coast, your source for ready to download swimwear patterns and step-by-step -step sewing tutorials. Today's video is proudly sponsored by Echo Peco. Echo Peco is a proud producer of eco-friendly cutting mats. I'm so excited to partner with Echo Peco because I absolutely love their cutting mats. I have the 36 by 24 inch mat in Quetzal Blue and I use it for all my sewing projects. What I like about this mat is that it is odorless and chemical free. All of Echo Peco's products are PVC and BPA free. As you may know, there are a lot of cutting mats out there that contain harsh toxins that can be absorbed through the skin or by inhalation. However, Echo Peco's mats are completely toxin free. Echo Peco is not only passionate about your creativity, but also your health. Apart from being eco-friendly, what I love about this mat is that it is reversible. You get two colors in one. So on one side, on my mat, I have a teal color and on the other side, I have this beautiful ocean blue that is super relaxing to look at and aesthetically pleasing. I'm happy to announce that Echo Peco Art is giving away a Quetzal Blue cutting mat just like mine to one of my lucky followers. So there is a contest running on Instagram at the moment. Check out the details at mango.coast. Enter to win this stunning cutting mat. It's the perfect size for all your swimwear sewing projects. Echo Peco ships internationally and is available to purchase at www.echopecoart.com. The link is in the description box. Now, let's start the sewing tutorial. In today's video, we are sewing a drawstring bandeau top. To complete this pattern, you will need a loop turner, an air soluble pen, a ruler, and a quarter inch rubber elastic. First step, place the pattern pieces on the fold of the fabric like so and proceed to cutting the pieces. Base stitch the front pieces together and back pieces together at the top and bottom. Right sides facing each other. Using an elastic foot set at zero tension, serge elastic onto the top and bottom of the pattern pieces. You will sew the elastic onto the dominant side. In this case, I prefer the paisley side, therefore I will sew elastic onto it. Using a seam ripper, break the base stitches and remove them. Take your back piece and seam rip a 1 inch hole and backstitch before the hole opening so the seams don't unravel. Turn your front piece right side out. Next, I will trace two strap channels using an air soluble fabric pen. To mark the exact middle, I am using this line on my cutting mat as reference. Adjust the placement of your pattern and identify the middle. Once the center is marked, trace a line. And then, trace a line on either side using a width of 3 8 of an inch. Top stitch to three lines with a straight stitch. Seam rip at the top and bottom of the strap channels to create openings. Base stitch the sides of the front at the very edge so the corners are nice and flat. Next, put your front piece inside of the back piece, matching self with self. In this case, I'm matching paisley with paisley print. Stitch down the sides with a straight stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance. A great trick is to first stitch your corners into place and then go over it all with a straight stitch. Now it's time to serge the strap. Fold it in half lengthwise and serge. Using a loop turner, turn the strap right side out. Next, use the hole to flip the bandeau top right side out. And last of all, blind stitch the hole opening and then take your loop turner and pull the strap through the channels. And here we have it, the Blanca top is now done. 
This style is reversible and can be worn on either side. Download the pattern at mango-coast.com and make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook for new swimwear patterns and other updates. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Happy sewing!